whole lot of pimping and pandering going on around here. <laughs> Damn, whole Gotta lot of that. situational comedy going on around this bitch. Damn. Gotta hit one of them in there. Whole lot of real life situations going on. Simulated violence. Damn. <laughs> Gotta put that one in there. Yeah. This type of shit you listen to when you about to move out and don't nobody <laughs> know. When you about to sneak move out, like fuck them roommates. <laughs> you ever moved out in the middle of the night? If you like ain't that, never moved out in the middle of the world, night, this you know, podcast you know, is not for you. You know they need them. The one you can play. You, you if you ain't never rented a U-Haul truck you know, and drove it to the club, ha! you ain't a real nigga. I ain't no real nigga. <laughs> You ain't never took some somebody car and kept it longer than you said you was. You ain't built like us. One, 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 that, one that's most solid. They don't got that effect on it. You ain't got no hi hats in that motherfucker. If you ain't never got in trouble for getting your school shoes dirty, don't fucking talk to me. You don't get to see this very often. DC is producing a show right now. I mean, a, a song right now. Yeah. That goes to Soprano. If this was a sketch, it'd be like when you get to the studio and the producer don't know what the fuck. Mucho dinero. Que paso. Who we got up in the motherfucking room tonight? Who? 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 Who we got up, up in this room tonight? Who? 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 Got my nigga who? from the block. Who? He'll shoot a couple shots. Who? Yeah. And we ain't gonna stop. Who? We two around who? the world. We going so far. Listen. Brought my nigga in here with. Y'all pussy nigga, y'all tripping. We'll get the fucking click. If you with me. Get this slippin', pimpin', my nigga, we be really ready, yeah. All the way from the trenches, yeah. Stop it, yeah, it's the mission, yeah. Go on, break it back, uh. Don't stop, keep going, keep going, keep going, don't stop, keep going, keep going, keep going, don't stop, don't stop, keep going, keep going, don't stop, don't stop, keep going, keep going, don't stop. It's a train, I'ma tell you how you're going back. Hey. Y'all nigga, yeah, y'all sad. Hey. I got my nigga with me, get who we in here, my nigga money, money back. Hey. 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 Don't stop, yeah. keep going, hey, yeah. Don't stop, keep going. Hey, I, I don't stop and keep going. Yeah, I don't hey, stop and keep going. Uh, shoot a couple shots. Uh, going straight to the top. Whoa. Got my nigga straight up on the block. Okay. You know what? Yeah, we're going far. Hey, hey. hey. don't stop and keep going. Keep going. Don't stop, keep going. Keep going. Don't stop, keep going. Keep going. I don't stop, keep going. See, listen, that's the dope. I'm gonna tell you like they here for show. Okay. I told my nigga get some time. Damn. And now we y'all up on the toe. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey, <laughs> don't stop, don't <laughs> stop. Okay. What? Keep going. Keep going. Hey, don't stop, don't oh. stop. Yeah, keep going. So listen, we going far. Okay. Everybody, we some star. Okay. We straight came from the bottom. Okay. We used to be y'all still in car. Okay. Damn, oh, hey, don't, don't stop, stop keep, keep going. going. Keep going. Hey. Don't hey. stop, don't, don't stop, stop, keep going. going. Keep going, keep hey, going. Don't stop, keep going. going. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop, keep going. Don't stop, keep going. I remember, I was like, I remember I came from the church. My nigga was like, he'll bust that. Don't stop, keep going. 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 We going back. No, I'm back. I'ma tell you like this, like that. Like that. Look, we read it from the church. Okay. Me and my nigga, we used to sell crack. Hey, I don't, don't stop, keep going. going. Don't stop. All the man made us stop. Don't, don't stop, keep going. Don't stop, keep going. Don't stop, don't keep going. Don't stop, don't stop, 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 keep
Get what? what? I used to serve everybody, man. I, I saw your aunt. Okay. Hey, don't, hey, stop. Hey, don't stop. Hey, don't stop. Hey, don't stop. 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 I'm from the shade. Okay. Listen here. I'm in the bed. In the bed. Get what? Get I'm what? really from the hood. Uh -huh. My brother was a, a crackhead. Yeah, damn. Don't stop, keep going. 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 I'm feeling good. Okay. Uh, I think it's too. She. Okay. I'm really from the church. Okay. My mama taught everybody up in the hood. Oh, hey, hey, don't, don't stop, keep going. Keep going. Don't stop, don't stop, keep going. 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 Now, look, another chapter. Uh huh. I'm really am a raptor. Okay. So listen, my brother crackhead. Uh huh. But my daddy was a pastor. Hey, 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 don't stop, keep going. Keep going. Don't stop, don't stop, keep going. Don't stop, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop, keep going. Keep going. No, not don't stop, keep going. Don't stop, keep going. It's been a hurt. Uh -huh. Look, get paid on the third. God damn uh -huh. it. We gotta stop the shit, cause uh -huh. I can't think of too many words. Hey, hey, don't stop, keep going. Keep going. Don't stop, don't stop, 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 keep going. Don't stop, keep going. Keep going. Don't stop, don't stop, keep going. Don't stop, keep going. Listen, Eric. Uh -huh. huh. It's a missionary. Oh, hey. I'm a bullshit. Uh -huh. My mind is just like a dictionary. Hey, hey, don't stop, keep going. Don't stop, 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 don't stop, keep going. Look, I stole the plasma. Mm -hmm. I filled out my passport. God damn it. Okay. Look, we gotta stop for real. Okay. Cause a nigga got ass. Hey, don't stop, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop, keep going. Don't stop, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop, keep going. Now look, ain't gonna boast. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Used to eat all the toast. Yo, damn it. But get what? Mm -hmm. Chico, oh, DC, oh. hey, money bad, they go low. Oh, hey, 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 don't stop, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, keep going. Don't stop, keep going. Keep going. Don't stop, don't stop, keep going. Don't stop, keep going. Gotta stop. Okay. Real time, we gotta stop. Don't stop, keep going. Don't stop, 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 don't stop, keep going. Don't Man, stop, man. <laughs> cut it off. Shit. Yes, sir. I'm tired. Yeah, me too, man. Ain't gonna call the captain. I was high. I was high. Hey, I'm not even gonna call the captain. Hey, man, you see all these lovely gifts and shit we got scattered about? Hell what yeah. we got right here? Uh, what you got? Shit, I got some oh, shit you man. gave me, nigga. I, I gave you that. Yeah. No, somebody sent you that. For real. Black and proud. Black and proud, I love yeah. it. Hell yeah. I got one right here. Uh oh. Chico, what you got over there? Uh, I'm out to see. What is it? I got, I got some roller papers. Okay, bet. I got. It's out here. Black and proud, man. Oh, black and proud too. I'm black and I'm proud. Most definitely. Say it loud. Say what? I wish it was my side though. What side is it? But you don't, but you ain't peep, Los. You ain't peep that it's the same script as the black and mild. Yes, I did. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, that shit dope right here. Nigga sent us a thank y'all. A toy. Okay, we got some. Oh, yeah, we that got must be for your daughter. <laughs> Nigga ain't Check got no out. hair. Dangerous Creations. <laughs> Look at sick this. right here. <laughs> Dangerous <laughs> Creations made this. It, got, it says, over at Dangerous Creations, we are huge fans of the 85 South Show. We don't miss an episode. With that being said, we notice your merchandise and you need some smoking accessories. We craft a custom ashtray for you all and we hope you love it. If you're looking to expand your brand, and offer ashtrays at a part of your custom merchandise. We would love to work with you as a, you know, customer and wholesale district. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Danger Coast. That shit is dope, though. Yeah. This the type of shit you steal from a hotel. Right. You definitely steal. Nice. That shit fine. What's the ashtray? Yeah, that be hard. Yeah, we all, they can sit one. So what is nigga sent you a security We're going to all have to smoke out of it. I don't know who the fuck this is. Sent this this what weird the ass fuck sent you a, that's That fuck. look like a clue. That nigga ain't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the what security? they said. I brought the bag to your cup. Right. No, so this is what it said. It said, on Sesame Street. fuck security, smoke everywhere you go. Yeah. yeah. It's saying security go crazy. You smoke smoke your life away. Put the hat on the security. Don't be security or you will smoke your life away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good message they said right but there. But get what though? What? We got a special guest in the motherfucker. Yes. Oh, oh shit. My dog. Who we got? My partner. Who From we got? From the motherfucking sandbox. My nigga, my nigga. Mafia, Mafia, yeah, we in the Mafia. Money bag, Mafia, nigga. Straight up. Oh, 
nigga way flexing this shit. Somebody gave you $20? Oh, that's whatever, definitely whatever, a clue, clue now. Security I told you it's a clue. Yeah, Fuck the clue, nigga. I'm gonna buy me. I'm gonna buy some weed. That's, that's the clue. Him, tell him thank you. Man, Appreciate it, nigga. You want the Hold up, hold niggas. up. Before we get into that, we gotta discuss this. How many of them they gave y'all? Nigga, somebody sent me this shit with. I'll take the one that got the weed in it already. Somebody been using it for a long time. Somebody gave you a you grinder, bro. And put my name on it. They said Lowe's gonna fuck with this one. Yeah, right that one. That, that one. They, gonna smoke. they could at least feel it. You don't know what weed. that is. They been grinding up in there. Don't fuck with that. It might no be somebody ashes. You yeah, never know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You it's some shaking that, that one. <laughs> might be somebody. Now let's get to the gangster shit. Oh, yeah, I just man. wanted to know that this is the type of vibe I'm on. That's some bullshit. Man, you literally one of my favorite niggas to watch on Instagram, man. Like your content creative. is so crazy. creative, my nigga. It's like you do the video that my favorite shit is when you do the videos and be talking about something. That, anyway, and then the shit you say after anyway, anyway, yeah, man, I got this little bitch, man. She be making plan B pills from scratch at the house and shit. <laughs> Every time I go over there, my nose get to bleeding real bad. I told the bitch to tell me that she's cooking them. I put the mask on and all that and that shit crazy, man. But uh, yeah, man, to the bartender. It's like this nigga is, <laughs> dog, you the only nope. nigga that come with that type of shit on the internet, man. And it's just like, where that come from, dog? Like, what the fuck made you so crazy, know, nigga? I just be, I be having head movies for real, bro. Like. Just, we could be sitting here talking like a motherfucker, and I'd be thinking to myself, like, bro, that shit funny here. Like, it's a real story. One time, bro, I was eating that whole pussy, bro. For real. And I was thinking about a skit. And I fucked around, and I was like, <laughs> and her lips were like, <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying, bro? Goofy. No, that's a real story. No, she was like, nigga, you dead at you laughing right now. I'm like, nah, man, they put this shit in my phone real quick while I forget it. But what we was at, though? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, for real, I did be I did be thinking all the time. That's bro. where a lot of funny shit happened though when you having sex. Yeah. Low you key, see the yeah. real, you see the real shit. You I'm see fucking the with this girl. She was a squirter, but she going she pushing real hard to squirt and then fucked around and fought it first and then squirted, but act like I wasn't gonna notice that she fought it because she squirted. Did it stink? <laughs> I don't know, cause it was kind of like. You ain't know if it was the ass or the pussy. I was already laughing. I ain't really, I don't know. <laughs> she like, I squirted. <laughs> <laughs> no, you yeah, sure did, hard. bitch. You <laughs> shot it. That's what then you did. Then you squirted. I had to be exactly to me. she squirted. She like, I squirted. Happened. I was like, I was feeling the bed. I was like, you did? She like, you don't feel it. Hell no. I was hoping to be lying. Like, That'd be that piss, nigga. I don't give a fuck nobody that. That's real piss, though. That's piss. Whatever it is, is, she better do it. <laughs> Put it on my lip. I don't like that stuff. I done ate all these before. Come out. I, I do like I do like it. I just you just gotta make sure she squirts on cream, the side. Man. She and gonna Ron sleep on it with you, nigga. Yeah, I like cream. Yeah, yeah. Like, See, they made they made me feel like I was a uh, fucked up ass nigga when I said bitch got that mayonnaise. Nigga was like, what? Yeah, like yeah cause that. you know sometimes they, they, you know the, you gotta be specific. Like, what kind of verbiage? Cream? It like was cream. the verbiage. Yeah, it was like, is it is it grits or is it cream? No, no See, that you grits ain't grits, no, grits ain't that. Like, bitch, this shit ain't supposed to be in my in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is in my pube, like salad claws that came around. <laughs> it's snowing down there. What 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 you talking about? The grits. What grits? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Some That's how I got weird when I said the mayonnaise. Then he turned to the grits and everybody it in the comments gritty, like, she gonna win. It be like, it be like, yeah. That's yeast. Yeah, that's yeast, my boy. Yeah, that's yeast. I mean, yeah. shit, I ain't know until I seen it. Yeast. Yeah, shit. you better get that off. You gonna be It was off. You say y'all enough. niggas from the sand, but how y'all niggas meet? Cause you from Florida. He from Florida originally. I'm from Atlanta. I was born in Great. I just been back and forth, you know, from, you know, my mama's side's down Florida. Okay. So I was kind of like- Let him know where back though. Folk Pill, Florida, you know, right by West Palm Beach, all that shit like that. The trench here too. You okay. But you know, my pop, my pop got out of uh, prison and shit. I moved with him. And then they, he moved to his street and shit. So when we met, like, nigga, we was, you know, I was- Niggas that came up walking his dog. He had dread. He like, what's up? I ain't here till I'm from Florida. Oh. I was like, shit. What's up, nigga? Y'all know it's a nigga from Florida that stayed out of the street, goddamn. <laughs> nigga, funny hell, bro. Like, be honest, it was the only nigga that made all the gangsters in the neighborhood laugh. It don't matter. I ain't never seen any nigga laugh as hard until Shouter come outside. You feel what I'm saying? And, and it was like, at that time, we had a, a young crew, and then we had an older crew, but it was only a certain few young <laughs> niggas who was right there with the older crew, and he was definitely one of them. You see what I'm saying? Like, he came to the hood and didn't have to prove himself. It was already that genuine, like, oh yeah, shout really about this shit. You feel what I'm saying? And then he put work in for the hood, for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no, there's a lot of people that stay there, but like, there's people who actually put work in. They be like, oh yeah, I did this shit on my block. I remember when I'm up, shout it out on my block. Oh, I shout at them folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you dig know what I'm saying? I, I seen a nigga I, really in the shootout, and I was laughing. <laughs> this nigga crazy. 
put you right on them. Yeah, come on with it. You know what I'm saying? Already said it. But he, but it was like, <laughs> but it was like, so, ain't too many people had that type of humor. You feel what I'm saying? And his humor was like, bro, what the fuck are you thinking? Right. You That's what, what I say. Like, when how I do you see do that, that shit? That slave shit, my nigga. When you be a slave <laughs> fucking a white woman, I say, man, this nigga. You get on out of here. Yeah, right. That's you be getting. Jacoby? Yes, ma'am. Talk dirty to me, boy. Hmm? You talk dirty to Miss Rivers. Crazy woman. No. You talk dirty, boy. Hmm? You talk dirty. Okay. No. That's what I'm talking about, boy. That's what I was talking about. Yes. Cracker. Yes. That's what I'm talking about, boy. Hmm? Wet dog smelling, oh. slave selling, oh. heritage stealing, oh. forefather killing, black oh. history hind, oh. wife of a rapist, you oh. lily white motherfucker. Oh. Oh no, Miss no, Lewis. <laughs> Get on Are you in that motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Bartholomew, yeah. Yeah, it's Bartholomew. Yeah, man, I'm like, dog, what planet is this right. nigga on, man? And I watch a lot of movies, though, too. That's another thing. Like, I'm a movie buff. Like, bro, I sit up, watch movies all day and just, like, pick from different movies and just put one situation together, two type shit, though. <laughs> but I sit up all night and watch movies, dog. Like, but the nigga dedication is like, on point, you feel what I'm saying? Like, come from where we come from, and to doing what we doing. First of all, is comedian shit. Like, some people choose it. That shit, we didn't choose that. Right. You see what I'm saying? It was like, this is just so happening. We just following God's footsteps. You know what I'm saying? He he, he got in our footsteps. So when we was on the street shit, he was deep into the street shit. You know what I'm saying? And so it was like, we did that together as well. And so when he saw me do this first, I instantly was like, hey, bro. I'm gonna try to get you signed with these folks I'm signed with. I'm gonna try to, you need to do that funny shit that's on the block over here. Cause now I'm learning it professionally. Nigga, you funny as well. I mean, I told that nigga, I said, bro, just get five minutes, bro. And you come on the road, my nigga. Nigga came back with 15, 20. And when I say knocking shit loose on stage, like literally knocking shit loose, bro. And just to see that dedication, bro, it was just like, I'm proud of my nigga cause I know where the fuck we came from. You see what I'm saying? And, just like I want to tell you this on on, on on front of everybody, my nigga, like, we came from the struggle, nigga. We came from the gutter, nigga. And to see this shit can change our lives and to see you take that shit serious, it like, I appreciate you because I'm younger than him, too. When he, like he said, on the street shit, hey, GG, you got you to gotta listen to me, bro. We out here, fat. We going to ride. When he come to shit, he allowed me to take lead, and he like, I'm listening, bro. And I see it on stage, like, he, he going to be gonna be another GOAT. He going to be another GOAT. And I'm proud of you, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Y'all did that video when you, you was riding in the car. Yeah, so we was looking at pussies. <laughs> <laughs> so, so look, bring look, it back normal. But look, take though, it take, to take it back to the emergency ball. He outside doing his shit. He first nigga ever taught me about buying. And then with Fatty Pay. You remember you did the blood hand yeah, shake? Yeah, yeah. He was like, nigga, buying. I'm like, nigga, I'm counting real money. I'm counting some real money. He coming like, hey, bro, some new shit called buying. Goddamn, come do the little, the little funny video. I'm like, what you want? He like, blood be like. I'm like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> Nigga, so in the video, I got my real money in my hand. He was just, what's up, blood? What's up, blood? I'm doing that for him. Gone. I'm back counting real money. Like, he posting, he doing all that algorithm shit. Then my boy Fatty Pay came in <clears> and, 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 and told me, like, hey, bro, this really the way. I'll never forget, we sending my uh, Roxanne, my 96 Ford Escort. Man, around here in these streets, man, okay. that's what I need. Nigga, can't okay. see okay. what the fuck? I'm playing. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm like, hey, bro, this shit gonna be funny here. We just gonna rap and we just gonna fall out. Oh, the guy, he's talking about fall out? I said, look, I'm gonna lean my head on the third wheel. Why you drive? I said, why you drive? <laughs> like, nigga, he's like, don't do that. I said, nigga, nigga gonna fall out. I'm gonna go all the way back on the street. Anybody come to the street? He's like, all right, nigga, remember the fuck? We had to go all the way down. We had to go all the way down the street. We were up there. I was gonna die tonight. I did, I did. And I told that nigga, I said, bro, we don't know what to call it. He outside doing, he creating a whole nother video. It what we in the hood. He creating a whole nother video outside the car. I'm smoking in the car. I'm like, bro, what the fuck we gonna call this shit? I'm like, all right, when we pass out, it's like emergency. We need some. I said, GG, I got it, bro. He said, what? We gonna call it emergency ball. He said, emergency ball. I said, nigga, we gonna call it emergency ball. Did that shit, bro. 
it went crazy. And from then, we had a team, team unit. We kept going. And we here today, like, every chance I get or anything I got, I'm like, y'all need a writer? I'm trying to bring my nigga home to other shit, because the nigga is a magnificent writer. I told this nigga about a move. This nigga called me back three days, nigga, with the Porsche girl. Like, we from the hood, bro. We smart as fuck, my nigga. You be putting me up on books and shit, like all that. Like, don't let these tattoos on our face fool you, nigga. We'll slap hey, shit look, I was thinking about that shit the other day. We really set a trend. We might be the only comedian doing stand up with fucking tattoos on their face. Yeah. For real talk. I ain't never met none. So, yeah, you might be right. Y'all the first nigga. That's a few. It is? Like right here? Mm hmm. I don't know. Like in the middle? I never forget what he told me about this tattoo. On as, third I, eye. as soon as I say that shit and can't think of nobody, they all gonna hit me. Like, bro, you it was got us. Them. Yep. Oh, it's a few. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Me. I don't know if they got them right here. Yeah, nah, don't fuck with me. Who the hell that ain't with that silver yeah, right here? You white girl comedians <laughs> that got face tattooed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> They like, that nigga right, that big nigga got that civil rights for him. That nigga just read a scripture. We all need to march together. <laughs> but I see, I don't think it's nobody who will win. Yeah, I'm trying to get my shit removed. You getting it removed. Yeah, yeah. getting it done. He, what, what, what made you just want to get it done? I'm tired of this shit. You got man. tired of this shit? Yeah, man. It's a wrap. My grandma did be like. I'd be like, fuck you looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I come in here, you shaking your head and shit. What the fuck wrong with you? You be talking to Graham yeah, like that? Yeah, man. <laughs> what made you get the Nike symbol though? Like, why ain't why that? Me. She got the shakers. Right. I know DC <laughs> shit is the crew. What is the Nike shit? Man, you I like don't need, man, look, man, I'm telling you, man, one day, man, I'll do that. You know, I'll get kicked and cougar, you know, beatbox, you know. <laughs> You got a motherfucking tattoo, man. I don't know why. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, damn, about that. I told this nigga, we in the hood. I told this nigga, he pulled up on me. I'm like, bro, you went and did that dumb ass shit. I downed the nigga. I'm like, man, you done throw your whole life away, man. You tripping, man. Like, like the next, the same week down there, I went and got this shit. They <laughs> called like, me and told me to pull up. I was like, fuck it, we ain't gonna be shit. Look, <laughs> <laughs> like, I got this shit, so I wouldn't have to get a job. Them crocker hired me anyway. I was like, <laughs> It's a wrap. That shit backfired. I'm like, y'all really need me that bad? Y'all need help me, that mother. <laughs> For real? For real. For real. Hey, man. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> man, how this shit was, bro? bro I'm telling you, really you bro. Shit. We got jail stories out of this shit. What they don't know, don't show. Don't show. Don't they won't hurt them, Trank. Don't tell you, man. We <laughs> really like guy from tripping. the trenches, bro. You feel me? Like, just to see, like I said, bro, just where we come from. And what we doing now, like, we on the road, bro. Like, I, I'm like, even when dope money, you like getting money with your partner. Like, not strangers. So I'm just sitting back, I'm just like, damn, but these niggas really being like stand up comedians. Like, this nigga will, he, he, listen, what we used to do, I sold dope. He broke the car. I suck at selling dope. He broke the car. I'll stop this nigga plenty of time <laughs> oh, on the way up. You told me one story. On the you way told up. me one story about, about y'all when you had to stop that nigga like, please. He was like, no, it's right there, nigga. I got to get it. He was like, please, no. He was like, nigga, just. I seen it, I seen it in the eye, We almost made it, man. We almost there, red. I'm like, man, fuck that. I'm my goddamn light bill. I seen it in the eye, bro. We having a conversation, but he's not looking at me. I'm like, hey, yeah, we finna go. He's like, yeah, bill. <laughs> I'm like, man, you good? He like, man, shit, finna be. <laughs> I said, finna be? Nigga, I seen, I look, I said, that motherfucker sitting on them eights. I said, red. Nigga, I don't know where he had a screwdriver. This bitch that came out with one finger. You gotta keep that motherfucker on. Had that mother, he brought that motherfucker up like this. I said, red, put that bitch. <laughs> what are you doing? We not in the hood, no. Red, please. Not right here. That is why we all Come down. back. I said, if anything, come back. Don't do it with me. <laughs> I understand, but don't do it with me. He like, I got kids. I said, I feel that. <laughs> but we all won't tell. Just let me get over the hall. Baby, I got you. He was like, you know what? God damn, the judge. <laughs> I don't talk about that shit. Oh, he said, why you got to be like that? I said, cuz. I think I'm trying to save you too. Because if I ain't give a fuck, I'm going to let you do it. You know what I'm saying? But I give a fuck. Let go. We finna, I promise you, just hold tight. I don't know what's going on, but this shit moving. And once, we, once I figure this shit out, once the doors can be open and I can break these bitches down and I can move how I want to move and say what I want to say and bring the people that I want to bring, I promise you, because I'm watching the other niggas do it, I just got to wait my turn. Yeah, for sure. Now that I got my turn, I don't want them niggas on the show with me. Well, who you want then? These niggas. <laughs> hey. Just that, like that. And that's what it takes, though. 
And that's exactly why, like people see, like when you post shit and we post shit and you know, we take, we got motherfuckers that we want to go and take to these clubs and shit. Right. Cause they would never get to see these <laughs> niggas cause they would never know like, like you said, the passion and the work that these motherfuckers put in. Like, nah, fuck that. These the motherfuckers you need to see. Funny. These the nigga that made me niggas, laugh. Right. These the motherfuckers you need to be booking before I bring them here. And right. let me show you what you not bring into your club. They, they, take they love it. It take motherfuckers like that to bring, just to create them opportunities. You know what I'm saying? That's why I try to, when I go on the road, I try to leave a spot, let motherfuckers get a guest spot. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, shit. I be hearing a lot of stories about like <clears throat> other comedians that didn't fuck with niggas like that. And, that and they didn't understand that that hurt the game yeah. in the long run. Right. Right. They fucked it up. Because nigga, wh- why wouldn't you want to let that motherfucker get a guest spot? Five minutes. Right. Especially if you're from the city. Right. Pop, pop, like you show a love to the city and you see when, when you get off stage and the people, I want to take a picture with you. And I'm watching motherfucker lined up, taking a picture with my palm. I'm like, ooh, this shit. Right, that shit feels so dope. But I, I, think, I, I think it come from niggas not really being genuine good niggas. Like, it, you ain't going to see nobody having somebody to bring up with them when you a fuck, nigga. You know what I mean? So you, you see a lot of motherfuckers who not going to be able to be surrounded by nothing real. Cause they done been bitch ass niggas they whole life. So they done <laughs> fucked around and made it. Whole ass and then whole ass niggas that made it. And now you get to see they just a whole ass nigga that done fucked around and got an opportunity. But when you come from being a genuine motherfucker and you come up with niggas that you fuck with and they trust your word to right. say, my nigga, please, my nigga, I, I got you. Right. That mean more than, you know what I mean, the shit we see all of the niggas that a lot of the motherfuckers that was before us do. Cause he tell me all the time, he used to tell me all the time we first start doing wildin' out, just, you know, giving me game on how the comedy game work, cause you know, he IL'd in this shit. He was like, man, these niggas don't fuck with each other. Right. He said, man, these niggas hate each other out here. He said, this so, shit ain't. That shit, that shit said, weird, bro. That shit weird, bro. Wow. Fake love. Like, I'm like, Yo. He told me, he was like, man, they gonna hate us forever cause we genuinely fuck with each other. I'm like, nigga, but I mean, everybody fuck with each other. He's like, nigga, no. They don't. They don't. You know how many nigga. times, nigga, I've heard flaw ass shit, listen, about the fucking 85 South show just flaw ass shit, nigga. You, you, you the funny. Boo, 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 boo. I be like, hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna tell you, cause it's on the us. Nigga, I wouldn't be how I am without my brothers. Yeah, I be, I be saying You see what I'm saying? Right. That chemistry, that chemistry, yes. that nigga, that's how you feel. But I'm gonna tell you, he funny as fuck to me. Right. So, you think you finna deteriorate my character like and think I'm finna sp- talk down on my yeah. partner like, man, I know, I don't know shit. We the, we the best cause we the best together, nigga. Exactly. Now what, nigga? Right. Exactly. Now what, nigga? Exactly. We dig, now what the fuck, nigga? And that's exactly what I was saying about earlier when it's like, you know how we when we do club dates and shit and y'all post a picture and then they post a picture and I be like, see the difference between they picture and y'all picture is we know they really fuck with each other. You can see that they don't. They trying to create some shit like that. Hey, did it look like we fuck with each other on that one? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, hey, hey, that one. this the one. Y'all everybody posts this one. Go on, everybody posts this one. We all fuck with each other. And then that was, you know, a nigga got to, you know what I'm saying, got to get out their system. And, a nigga taking your shine. Your shine is your shine. A nigga can't take your shine. Whatever you put in the work, that's what you're going to do. If I know I'm a hustler and I'm finna have all these folk coming anyway, why not put my niggas in front of a sold out crowd where they already, they it done jumped the broom or working hard. Nigga, these, I guarantee you, if you go out there and do your thing, nigga, you're going to get 75% of them people going to come back and see you off your name, nigga. Right. Off, I do that off all the time. you. Like my nigga drank, I told him nigga, I said, man, when I get to the point where I can do my shows and I can come in and make some demands about what I want, nigga, you coming. Just give me some time, I promise you. And then once I got to that point, that nigga been with me. And then every time I get on stage after the show over, I'm like, hey man, would y'all come see this nigga again? Mm-hmm. Everybody, hell yeah. So them people who book the clubs and shit, fuck who they tell you supposed to come. Mm-hmm. These the people. You know what I mean? They might not have came to see this nigga. They ain't know his name before, but I guarantee they know his name afterwards. Right. And they gonna take pictures with him just like they taking pictures with me. He gonna be able to get his shit off. Right. But you gotta have a certain spirit to not feel like, like you said, a nigga ain't gonna take my shine and all that. But you gotta, I mean, I understand. What I, what I, what I tell you, really? Yeah, fuck all that. Like, what's for you ain't for me, and what's for me ain't you for you. You a headline. Right. I tell these niggas all the time. Listen, you, Blake, you, 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 you in the beginning. Red, you right here in the middle. You know, I'm at the end, but get what? All y'all niggas headline. Cause when you get on big stages, them niggas headline. I don't give a fuck who go first. And you know how I learned that from? 
being on stage with these niggas. Before I can headline, I had to come host. I had to go first. But at the end of the day, we all headline. Cause we can leave this motherfucker and go do our own show. So get what? I'm gonna tell you right now. You ain't gonna be up under me. You ain't gonna be at my shows all day. Cause you know why? You're a fucking headliner, and I need your ass to go out here. Cause what if I wanna stop? That's what I'm saying. Right. If I say I'm finna, I'm taking two months off, I need for I need for y'all to have. I see y'all niggas talk to them club owners. I'm, I'm looking at them like, yo, yo, get in on my nigga. Tell them you wanna oh, come back next man. week. You hear me? So when you, when 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 I wanna go vacation, y'all niggas, the money still flowing. We ain't right. stop. We we still out here. Cause when we on the powerful when we get together. But get what? When you when we have to separate, it's still go time. Cause when we have to do 85 South, we powerful. But then after 85 South, we gotta go hang out in there. And we can't just be sitting here that Wayne like, man, I'm just waiting for 85 South. Right. Hell no, nah, it back to the prison. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So I teach all my nigga, bro, we headliners, bro. Whoever think you're gonna be first for the rest of your life, whoever think you're gonna be going up for the headliner, nope. You wanna have a headliner set. So nigga, cause every time you go out there, nigga, you a headliner. Right. And you that's ain't no featured act, nigga. We so learned I want my niggas to walk like they headliners. From this blue episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. My name is Carlos Miller. Bluechew.com. Trust me. At this point, you already know. It's people asking me, man, what that Blue Chew do? Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. And it's a sexual stimulant. Now it's not it's not gonna cure any ailments or anything like that, but it will have you making sweet sweet love <laughs> to your lady. If you can benefit from more confidence where it counts, Blue Chew is the fastest and easiest way to enhance your performance. These pills are amazing. Go check them out at BlueChew.com. If you could use a confidence boost, or you just want to feel like your old self again, trust your man's. Use the promo code. It's only $5, man. You can try it for $5. Go online. BlueChew.com. You can go right on your phone. That's blue. B-L-U-E. Chew. C-H-E-W. Dot com. Hey, man. Make sure you hit that website and use that promo code. I just want you to see what all the hype is about. You get what I'm saying? Trust me on this. Use the promo code. Get your first shipment for free. 85 South. I put that on everything. Times is hard out here. You feel me? It's <laughs> because when we be on them shows with all the legendary motherfuckers, we go first. And them niggas headliners. And they headliners. But we go out there first, and it's like they put you in that spot because you got to build your seniority up. But every time we touch the stage, no matter what position you go in, nigga, when you touch the stage, whoever out there, I done been on them big shows and doing my set while niggas still sitting down. Man, I be but, mad as hell, cause they don't, they don't let me go first. You don't like, why? <laughs> yeah, it's what well, nigga, yeah, a lot of niggas. Yeah, you know, they know you gonna tag, you gonna tag yeah, motherfucker you know what I mean, motherfucker, but that's the thing, that a lot of that I'm be hate though. Be. What? Yo, bomb. Say, what, do what? Bomb. <laughs> Say what? A stand up. In comedy? <laughs> You mean like not make people laugh? <laughs> you mean like the rest of these things? Uh, Boy, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about when you first started. Right? <laughs> I'm talking about when I never. <laughs> Talk your shit. Talk your Hell. shit. See, it ain't never I, been like, you know, ain't never been like. Uh, my like my second man. time on stage, yeah. But it, mind you, I started in a different club. I learned the, dem the word of demographic firsthand. Early. I started in the Greensboro Comedy Zone. I'm talking about they got them white people that, the real white people. Like, fuck ha! you, yeah. fuck you and your family, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> no. I don't give Damn, a fuck about yeah, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about your Nike symbol. I like Adidas, nigga. You know what I mean? It's like that. Like it's they serious. So, I went on stage with the mentality that they was gonna understand what I was talking about, and they were just looking at me like, what? And from that point on, I made myself understand that fuck trying to be what the people want me to be. I'm going to be who I am at all times. Either you like it or you don't. Either way, <clears> it don't change shit. Right. And that gave me the perspective of who I am on stage. So it only happened at one time. Every time after that, I ain't never had no time when I got on stage. I can walk out of the car and walk into a room straight out the car and get straight on stage and get to it. No walk, nothing. Go Just crazy. straight to it. Because I came from that room that didn't have nobody who looked like me in it. So I knew what it took to make people laugh who don't have nothing in common with me. 
So if I walk into a room with uh, niggas that have an inkling of anything in common with me, we're going to get to it. Like I said, See, like, when I was saying, yeah, like, when I was telling them, uh, saying that, that whole shit about never like bombing like that, it's because I always studied the whole shit, like right. the whole comedy thing. It's like it's not even about what you're saying. It's like if you ever notice when a comedian is bombing, it, it never fails. They always stand it in one spot. I call that shit the suck box. <laughs> <laughs> if you stand in, if you go pull up any footage of any comedian bombing, they're gonna be standing right in that. He can't move. Just bombing. The suck box. <laughs> the suck box. <laughs> you step up out that motherfucker, you good. Man, that's the first shit I do when I walk on stage is move the fucking microphone stand out the way. Yeah, yeah, cool. You ever seen a comedian have a good show and then they be like leaning on that bitch uh -huh. and then that shit, they just be talking and they ain't, they ain't like, all right, nigga, time to leave. Right. The suck box. Suck box. Shit is real. Now I will say that we done all had shows with a, where you doing the show and it's like, nigga, these motherfuckers is not here for that shit. For that shit. Remember that Houston oh, show we did? That's, you can't that count shit. them. That, that, you yeah. can't. Yeah. Listen, Remember that no, you can't, show you can't we count did, them. Bro. I mean, Wait a that minute. show we did in Houston. You got to be able to change the motherfuckers. Battle the wings and all types of shit. We like, man, these motherfuckers is not Listen, here. Listen, when you go to a spot. And you doing comedy in a fucking sports bar with the game on, and they selling wings, and the waitress got big titties, and you extra. <laughs> that don't even count right. towards your comedy career. Okay, I take right. that because I Vegas, but, but that's what I'm telling right. you. Like, did you ever bomb? Have Vegas. I ever had to battle some niggas? Yes. yes. Watching the game and eating yeah. chicken. Right. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. that don't count on my comedy right. report card. So I can take that shit. Hey off. man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> fuck you, bitch ass nigga. Right. That's why you missing the front too. Hey, this little nigga funny. Turn the game down. <laughs> oh, you wasn't shit till you told that nigga he was missing a tooth. Right. <laughs> oh, don't act like you just funny all the time. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Fuck, oh, fuck you too then. Yeah, I didn't have, I didn't yeah. have shows where I had to roast 50 old niggas right. and then the, the old ladies would be, come on, let him do it, little comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm finna go. It's been an hour. I'm the greatest nigga ever lived. I made y'all turn the game off good night. Carlos Miller, give me my $50 and my free wings. Suck my dick. I see you bitches Tuesday. I fucking hate this place. Come on, y'all, let's go to the comedy club where we can be creative and tell jokes about octopuses and shit like that. Right. Yeah. I, that's any ass new face. He just right. seen me do fifty of them rooms in the city. Right. But then you keep coming back for six weeks, and then you got the then it's, it ain't basketball season no more. And now the old niggas is getting dressed after work, and they coming from the airport. Yeah, we came to see you. I brought my wife tonight. Right. Okay, okay wait. We want to hear some of that good shit you. That's good. That he grind. just seen me flip plenty of rooms from. Shut the fuck up. Will you lead in, bitch? Security, go get them niggas, cause they'll shoot this bitch up. Yeah, he done seen me. Yeah, I was. I show up like gangbusters. Give me six weeks, I turn this motherfucker to a comedy club. We got the line down the street. I got uh, Young Jock and them coming. And I got Young Jock and them coming. Nigga, this, ask him. This one niggas wanted to see them and shit though. It's, right. Yeah. <laughs> and my line no new faces. <laughs> He talking about that's what niggas wanted to see. It was going down, man. It was going down. Oh my God. Hey, Jack, you think you can do this two times so they know you really ain't here? He talking about two times. DJ, play that motherfucker. They don't believe Young Jock in here. And then they see the nigga. They be like, oh, that is him. Yeah, we done had a few of them. See, that be some club with me and Blake be fighting like a motherfucker, no buggy. You know, they come to see Fly. But them for how y'all doing? Fly. See? In DC. Yeah. Anybody in here, Sagittarius? DC. See, that's one going thing. Crazy. Going. I'm like, damn, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Let me get through this shit. He that's, that's one thing. That, that's one <laughs> thing I heard Roseanne jokes. say that I actually agreed with when I was on last comic stand. What? The fuck how they doing? <laughs> you can come out and you can come out and be like, hey, how y'all doing? Who gives a fuck? Nice. I heard that too. Why? <laughs> fuck them. How y'all doing? Get to the funny. Go straight to it. You niggas already know how they doing. Do you really give a shit? <laughs> what if somebody? What if I fucking? Do. People okay. actually started telling you. And it wasn't like that, oh, we good. And we they don't, don't everybody talk. was just like, man, I'm going through it. That's My wife's time. a bitch. That's oh, free time. That, 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 that shit be fun. That shit be fun. That shit be fun. be a good one. one. No, you that that be fun. Too. So no, but it don't stop. That's everybody in the room just start yelling see, out that's, shit. You know, we like that. You got to have that crowd control. Now, don't get me wrong. I love having a conversation with 
just my, 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 my audience. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got my selected jokes that I know for a fact, four to five minutes. But if I got three motherfuckers that I connected with in my, because that's why I like comedy club. I, it's, this shit is therapy. I, you come to see me. I don't know you from a can of pay. Who the fuck are you? What's your name? What's up, George? George, all right. <laughs> now we get somewhere. What the fuck you do, George? You do some. What the fuck you do, George? Now everybody in the room like, right. What, what the, the fuck, fuck you do, George? So it done brought a whole nother feeling to the show because now they like naturally funny. You see what I'm saying? Like, this ain't part of the script. Right. This ain't part of, you don't know him from a can of paint. You feel what I'm saying? Now you done brought his whole life on stage with you. I like that sometimes, cause now that get me to create like, okay, George, who is his? Oh, his wife got a fucked up bang. Now we finna put both of these motherfuckers together. I don't know what I'm finna do. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, help me create. Who am I? Cause this, this comedy shit is fun, awesome. but it's like, niggas don't be knowing, like I just be, <laughs> Hell, am I been there? You dig what I'm saying? I remember we was in Memphis. Remember we was doing the Memphis gig and the motherfucker kept talking to you. He was like, nigga, this nigga, this nigga had this nigga with a Tampa Bay Buccaneers jersey on, dog, that kept talking to this nigga. And he was mad, but I told him when he got off stage, I said, Lowe, that's some of the funniest shit I ever seen. Cause his back and forth with this nigga with this jersey on. The nigga kept agreeing with, he wasn't heckling him. Right. He was just agreeing with everything the nigga was saying. Like, yeah, say that shit again, nigga. I fear you. He was like, nigga, so what? I don't give a fuck to you, but I don't want you to be my friend. Stop talking to me. I'm like, bro, that shit is classic. But then those moments you can't battle, and a lot of niggas going, they going to crumble. Like, nigga, we done did shows. I'm talking about them shows where you walk in, nigga. What was that college we did? And the colleges is horrible. You nigga, what? Wow. Wait a minute. Right. Kids this the, don't this, no jokes. Let's draw. Them check kids. this out. This the God. greatest college show experience we ever, ever had. Ever have. Listen, Hold up. bro. This, me and this nigga had a show. Right. What was it? Somewhere Lane College. Lane nigga. College. In nigga. Memphis. Nigga, right we get, of we get Memphis, on dog. campus, get to the show. Right. Not one person is there. Cause they didn't believe that we was coming to their school, nigga. <laughs> I, and you can ask him. Nobody was there. Not one. Bro, we had to go to every dorm on the campus to go <laughs> literally in dorm room like we here. Knocking on they the were door. like, okay, we coming. We're gonna get in the shower right now. Bro, when we got back to the show and like the next hour, that bitch was packed. packed. And I'm talking about nigga, this the hoodest. Soon as we get there, the but the dude that threw the show, right? We come and we like, nigga, what the fuck? Ain't nobody here. He was like, man, I've been telling niggas y'all was coming, bro. They don't believe me. And the little host lady, the little host lady was, she was real arrogant at first. She was like, yeah, I mean, I'm ready. I'm ready to show off. I mean, y'all cool and everything. I'm just ready to go. So the nigga was like, man, man, y'all nigga cool. We was like, man, fuck it, nigga. We with whatever. He was like, this a hood school, man. Niggas from the hood go here. We like, nigga, let's go. Right. Nigga, we pull up in the golf cart. We drive around the whole campus, go up in the dorms, mm -hmm. knocking on doors, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Knocking on every level, knocking on doors. Niggas open the door. Oh, shit, we coming. Nigga. Niggas is opening the door, yelling down the hall. Bruh, they here for they real. Here for real. <laughs> My nigga, out Niggas front, jumping up, getting their hair cut and everything. Nigga, <laughs> we go outside. It's a hundred niggas outside. These niggas outside deep. We that nigga jump. say, That nigga say, bro, if you want us to come to the show, you got to, Chico Bean got to roast my nigga. There's some little ugly nigga just came out of the crowd. <laughs> Stupid ass shoe, long ass pants, short ass dress. Went crazy. crazy. <laughs> nigga, get the cool. Yeah, nigga, that what? nigga was like, all right, we coming, we coming, bruh. When the this, show it, was it, it was literally about 50 <laughs> niggas, though. About a big ass group of uh, whoever stayed in this building right here. They was all outside. All outside, outside like the block, nigga. And I'm like, nigga, we love this is where we come from, nigga. Y'all niggas come fuck with the show, we here for y'all. When the show came, nigga, we got back, that bitch was packed wall to wall. They in there playing that Memphis shit, nigga. Them, oh, it's, it's go, it's, nigga, they on the walls in that motherfucker. The same lady who was arrogant. Nigga, she was so goddamn nervous when she seen all them people. See, she thought she was gonna do the show for five niggas. Right. Nigga, she packed that bitch out. She came out and called me Carlos Dean, nigga. <laughs> she did that. She was like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, uh, y'all, they was like, bitch, get the fuck off there. Big bat, bitch, big little face, big no ass, bitch, get the fuck out of here. She was like, yeah, yeah, make some noise for Carlos Bean. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? You just called me Carlos Bean. Nigga, that was the them funnest show is, ever, dog. When we finished, them niggas was like, bro, we ain't never seen no shit like, but I'm talking about that crowd was like, I can imagine that's what the niggas felt like when they was in them clubs that that nigga tell me about them old Atlanta clubs when right. it was just niggas in there rowdy and they ain't got time for the nigga. If you ain't funny, 
Funny, they funny, ass. they on your ass, nigga. That shit was amazing, I told the nigga, I say, because we went from starting in the comedy club, and then we went to a school. I said, now, look, all right, because you know, this this game right here is a confidence. You got to have the strongest confidence. I said, now, look, we been killing shit. This is a school. These kids ain't fucking. Well, the motherfuckers humble you. The motherfuckers ain't fucking. They ain't no coochie. He talking about they ain't no coochie. I said, listen. Not directly. Not directly. You got to work. They ain't, they ain't fucking. You got to tie it into something at the school. Man, my boy came out this day, man. What happened? Who, me? Yeah. Oh, shit. I ain't never want to do that shit again. But I done did. I done did some more. Just, I don't know. I don't like colleges, man. I'm sorry. That don't mean don't, don't book a nigga. But, you know, <laughs> I, did, I did be. I, I don't know what to talk about. It's, Fortnite. It's so, it's so many schools that have booked you, like, repeatedly. Like, they really fuck with me like mm-hmm. that. Get a good just grab the grip. Well, y'all got a corduroy button up. Ugly ass, what the fuck wrong with you? <laughs> I ain't <laughs> never seen no corduroy like button up. At the motherfucker place with the alligators that know how to make that. Blake had a hard time. 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 Blake had a hard Yeah, that's a big Blake gator. Blake had a swim. I was on the back of his head. I was like, you all right? His name's Buford. He's a big gator. I can't wait to get off stage. Everybody can't do college. Alligator trainer button up. I said, I did the, before that Corona shit hit, I did the HBCU to. You know the steppers and shit. Like they had all the the uh, the founders and shit. Not the founder, but you know them old ass women that used to. I'm like, that that guy that ain't here. I'm talking about eat ass. They like, oh no, baby. Eat ass. I'm like, yeah, eat ass. But see, y'all, you could have still y'all, did y'all, that. Y'all, 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 I'm <laughs> telling you, you could have still did that. You just got to know how to tie it into. Yeah, I mean, I worked them. I make think. it work to where the school, because schools is like that's where I first started making some money right. at colleges, because they was paying, you know. 1500 1200 for a show. And, you know, being as though I went to an HBCU, I know the culture of HBCU. Right. See, I ain't, I ain't have but it. But the thing is, the culture of the HBCU is hood shit. Right. It's just transferred to where now, instead of just going and standing on the block, you got to go sit in the classroom. That's the only difference. Whenever it's a, a, a collection of us, the shit that make you you, that's what you give them. And they're going to be like, man, damn, I want to be just like this nigga. Or I know this nigga. Or I am this nigga. And that's the only thing. Like, if you go out there and try to give them a comedy show, they, they ain't got that. the patience exactly. for that exactly. shit. Exactly. They're that's not what trying I was to sit down and that's play the main thing, thing because they like that wild shit. Like, you go out there with them straight jokes, they ain't trying to. Yeah, they, they, they rules. Everybody in the front hey, of the room. worst, worst that's college show I ever it's, had, it's, man. I had it. drove all the way to fucking somewhere in Louisiana. And it was like fucking 13 hours or something. Because I thought the shit was in some fucking way, but it was three hours from there, like right. deep down in the woods. Get down there, nice big beautiful ass school. About eighty percent white or ninety percent white probably. As soon as I get there, man, they just was like, it's a black person. Huh? No. No. It's another black person. Like the black students were like, Yeah, Carlos, nigga! He here. And then the white people was like, a black guy. <laughs> oh, listen, them no. white school, bro. Them bro. motherfuckers called their agent back. We will never bring him back. I was like, you don't ever have to, but you're gonna send the check. Right. Fuck you, man. And they were like, we're gonna send it this time, but next time, I'm like, what you said, we're gonna be them next time. Hey, we're gonna send it this time. Listen, I think that's probably the worst show I ever had. You'll go to them white schools. Them motherfuckers be sitting in there. I remember I went to do a, <laughs> I went to do a college nigga, and they was in that motherfucker doing a dance rehearsal. No. Right before I performed, nigga. No. I'm talking about a real live, and they talk. They in that motherfucker doing some shit. Clap shit. Like TikTok I'm like, yeah, like before TikTok, I'm like, oh, nigga. Say white people? I know these motherfuckers ain't coming to the show. Nigga, that, nigga, fuck that. Right after they finished dance rehearsal, they pulled the chairs out and it was them. I'm like, oh, shit, I gotta perform for All the right, goddamn dance troops. You, this. No. you <laughs> ever went to one of them? And then they got mad because I was fucking with them the whole time. And only one motherfucker came up after this. The lady that booked me was like, that was very harsh. Our students aren't used to being criticized in that manner. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, I don't want to tell you how to do your art, but that was rude. Hey, you and ever got booked at one of them white very schools? I'm gonna say, Shut the fuck up, bitch! <laughs> you ever got booked at one of them white schools bitch. and they like you too much? And you be like, hold on, man. Y'all like me this goddamn much that y'all booked me at this school way out here by my goddamn self. Y'all ain't want nobody else but me. Talk, remember Did that you, one in West Virginia? Nigga? That's the one I'm yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, that one in West Virginia. <laughs> like, it's, I'm talking about this school all the way, white folks. And then you get to the show, it'd be like me, Chico, and probably three more other niggas. Like, why the fuck? Where are they watching us at? Nigga, I remember one time I went to this school, right? It was, it was like 
it was, it was in the gym, so they had to stay set up on the half side of the gym. It was packed. So I'm like, I'm like, ooh, I'm about to go crazy, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to go, I, I hate the kids. I'm like, all right, when they love me, I rose by three, four, one, my whole prom queen, prom king now, because I'm like, they don't know nothing about no coochie, but I'm going to give them all the coochie jokes. You're going to learn about six today. You hear me? I go out there, it's white people, and it's black people. I'm like, all right. That kind of <laughs> fucked me up. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, OK. But I was like, ooh, this is the perfect time to pull off my white folk, black folk joke. Nigga. I seen so many white people get up at my show and leave him. and leave. Oh, yeah. And I was like, then I'm taunting him now. I'm like, oh, he's mad. I don't give a fuck by all the black people. Yeah, that's right, nigga, fuck up. That nigga, shit crazy, nigga. <laughs> well, nigga, they come back in, nigga, the police come to the stage, nigga. The police come to the stage and was like this. I was like, what the fuck you want? Nigga, on stage, I'm like, what's up? I don't trust you like that. Black folk going crazy. No, he like, no, I'm gonna need you to come here. You gotta end the show. I'm like, end the show by what? He like, yeah, it was just a, 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 a shooting threat. One of the white kids came, was walking oh, out, yeah. was like, I'm over. finna come back and shoot this motherfucker up, man. Wow. So I had to get off stage, nigga, literally. Me, and I was like, I, so y'all still me. I'm like, hey, y'all, man, some white motherfuckers ain't gonna come back and shoot this motherfucker up, man. Y'all leave. Nigga, they got up <laughs> and just started looking like roaches out there, bitch. I got paid, but the crazy part about <clears throat> it is they booked me again. Hey man, the most money I ever <laughs> made for the least amount of people was at a fucking college. Duke, nigga, you man, told me that story. <laughs> I got booked at Duke. It might have been 60 motherfuckers in there. 60? They, they didn't even like watch it. This was the straightest shit ever. Like they they enjoyed the shit and right. all that, but they was watching me like it was a fucking play. They were just sitting in there like. He was He's a good. purge, He's nigga. Good. He's really good. <laughs> I like him. He's good. <laughs> it's like they was doing a case study or something, and they only wanted me to do like 15, 20 minutes. Yo, easy, easy money. It was like, yeah, you're good, you're good. I was like, what? Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> if y'all ever want me to come back, please call me personally. I gave you all the man. What, 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 what the fuck that school Bruh, was? It wasn't we even a to. comedy was show. Short. I was just there by myself. Oh, they before. showed up. It was the, show, from, the show was from like 7 to 7.30. No, it was just you. Just 7 to me. 7.30. Bro, the, the, the oh, dude I know what you talking came about. Came up and introduced you me. About when we was in God Where the fuck we were? Michigan. I said my nigga. We was in right outside of it's, Michigan. It's like, like 30, Lansing. You talking about sixty? That's what we were. It at had Lansing, to be like Michigan. it was twelve, 12 when we started. In there, dog. But when we finished, it was like thirty people. I'm like, my nigga, can y'all text? Tell somebody we. Here. And it was a big one in big ass <laughs> schools like University like of Michigan show, and Lansing. Like, I'm not. I'm not doing jokes for 12 niggas. I promise you I won't. Me and this nigga had I'm a not show go out there. at a college. What we had the show at, where the venue at, thundering like a motherfucker. Talking about raining, pouring down. You go right up the street, right across the motherfucking street. No. The sun out. Then over here, it's snowing. <laughs> Swear to God, bro. Man, Man I'm fucking I'm Pullman, Washington. What? Like, we was in Washington State, Pullman, Washington. Nigga, it's pouring down, raining. Sun out, nigga, snowing. We like, bro, what the fuck type of Narnia did we drive into, dog? And the crazy <laughs> shit is, we had to fly and then drive like an hour, hour and, and a half, half, bro. We from hey, Spokane. We Damn. driving, right? He like, I'm, I'm trailing him. You know, we just following each other up there. He right. in the car, in the car, cause we, we thinking the shit. You know how a motherfucker, he got to leave early or an hour or some shit before me. You know how that flying shit, right? Is. So he in the car, I'm in the car, nigga. We just riding. Then all of a sudden, I'm looking around. I was like, bro, why the fuck are we? Cause there ain't no cars out here. It's just <coughs> me and him. It's big ass shit look like the shit that pop up on your computer when right. your shit froze. Like nigga, we are literally riding Screen through a motherfucking no. no. screen. I called this nigga life. like, bro, do you see this shit? Yeah. Ain't no fucking cars out here. It looked like we was riding through that Dr. Seuss shit, man. By y'all too. Like By the side of, I said it looked like the side of the butter box. You know, like the, the <laughs> yes. you know the butter, <laughs> yes. nigga, the, the Lando Lakes box. Yes. That's when we rolled through the picture they took to put on the side of the box. <laughs> no. When we get out the car, we amazed. Like you, you know, our eyes big, like, bro, what the fuck is this? The white girl walk up that book this was like, oh, what's wrong with you guys? We was like, man, what the fuck is wrong with this place? She was like, oh, no, that's this spring in Pullman. Come on, this way. I'm man. like, oh, my God. No. Listen. I, I can't, I can't. Out of all the road stories, most of the strange shit happened at the colleges because they all in little strange-ass towns, man. And, you know, the show be at early as fuck. You fly in, you get there at 
four o'clock to show it. You got to get ready damn near immediately. They want you there at six. Right. To sit there at the seven. Just to say you were there. Like, can what you the come fuck early? am I going to do from six to early? seven? When you start doing colleges, the, the process that they go through is different than the you gotta comedy club. You got to be there club. early. Because the comedy club, you know, you got, let's say you got three shows, 730, 930, and 11. You know what I mean? You can get there. If you got features and shit, you get there as long as the show started. They're going to start the show. Colleges, nigga, whoever is over the show right. is going to call you repeatedly. Hi, it's uh, Chico from uh, Student Affairs. Uh, we were just wondering what time you were going to get in tonight. We were like, man, I, it's 3 o'clock. I just landed. Yeah, we had your flight information. We just wanted to make sure that you were close enough <laughs> that we can expect you at 630. The school then, is only five minutes away. Right, exactly. And then if we're you, across the street. You can walk. And then, and then getting, and when you get to the school, dog, the most annoying shit, the most annoying, at least to me, the most annoying shit is trying to find the building that the fucking show oh, yeah. is in. Dog. What Talking auditorium? Don't nobody know. They don't Talking even know what it's in. So where are you? I'm on the campus. Well, where are you exactly? Bitch, I don't know where I am. What interest did you come what, in? What interest did you come in? Are you looking at a building that says, no, bitch, I'm looking at... Hey, this is the ho. shit that meet, really makes me mad about that shit. <laughs> is when you ask the motherfucking security at the gate, hey, where are the Johnson building? Johnson building? <laughs> Ain't no Johnson building. <laughs> no goddamn Johnson building on this motherfucker. <laughs> where you say you going? <laughs> well, he go he, to the he said he's going to the Johnson building. Oh, the East Wing. I ain't right. never heard no Johnson nah, building. He, that's, had old folks that that's, that's the old gym. That's what he talking about. Oh, the East Wing. Oh, okay. You, you gonna go out? You got to go out of here. Oh, okay. You talking about the one that they made out of the church? Yeah, you got to go mm -hmm. out of here and go around, My and you gonna see what they call Silver Street, where they used to call the, the West Wing. And you're going you gonna to make a right on Silver Street. Then you're going to go all the way down there. You're going to see a shit go. Mm -hmm. Before you get to the shit go, make a right. You go in right there. The Johnson building behind the baseball field. The mobile for already But directed. the baseball you're field you're behind right. the track. Mm -hmm. But you can't get in there from over there. You mm -hmm. just got to park. <laughs> you got to but park what you can do is just go down there. You got to park right, and walk right down. You, you know what? i tell you what. What? Go and come through here. <laughs> And, and drive down there as far as you can, uh -huh. and then park. Then you you should be able to see it. And then it's always you know what? a nigga. I'm gonna go down there with, with you. you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it's always a nigga that knew how to tell you how to get there quicker. Like, hey, oh, come you on, went that way? come oh, on, nigga. All you had to do was to come straight they through the gate. Y'all, I'm headed that way anyway. My nigga. I, had to, I gotta go that way anyway. Them, them no, kids down listen, there fighting. Like, they go. going to the cafeteria. <laughs> you guys, the shit you gotta get used to, nigga. I had a college show, motherfucker. They had like. a two campuses that was an hour away from each other, and they gave me the wrong campus to do the show at, and I drove an hour, nigga, and then they kept calling me, asking me how close I was after they gave me the wrong directions. That's the first time and the only time I ever went on to one of the college students. I'm like, look, man, don't call me no motherfucking more, man. I'm coming, man. Amen. Well, the students are getting impatient. The students are getting impatient. I don't give a fuck about the students getting impatient. Bitch, oh, you stupid. gave me the wrong address. The fuck you keep calling me for, dog? Hey, I use the GPS. You keep calling, I'm going to get lost again. What's wrong with you, dog? Now, See, they be the doing that. The and then they be trying to... Fuck, fly. fuck them niggas, hey, man. They ever try fuck to, them kids, They man. ever try to guilt trip you? Like, they'll call, they be calling you. Well, Carlos, we were just trying to make sure you're going to be here at 515. Like, why the fuck I need to be there at 515? Well, Chico's here at 330. Like, what the fuck is he doing there at 330? I just be lying. I'm, I'm, I'm at the school, man. I'm staying in my hotel room. <laughs> Where are you, bitch? I see you. I hope they watch it. Look, <laughs> college committees or whoever booked them shows, stop throwing comedy shows every goddamn way. Everywhere ain't situated for comedy. These right. motherfuckers have a comedy show in the middle of the cafeteria. Oh, nigga, I didn't cover that. Right when everybody, half the motherfuckers at the show, half them niggas came to eat. You hear motherfuckers <laughs> washing <laughs> dishes and shit, right. slush the machine. The nigga, they studying, they got a group meeting. You was talking on. about shit, ain't got nothing to do with the show. They need to put some Coca Cola back there. You hear that machine popping? <laughs> Man, Bag <I'm> empty. Motherfucker <laughs> empty. I used to work at Chick fil A. Anybody that worked at Chick fil A, give it up for Chick fil A. <laughs> <laughs> Chick-fil-A love everybody. <laughs> oh my God, buddy man, I got a question for you though, nigga. Like the the, the skits that you do where you do the, the strip club shit. Did you ever work in a strip club and do the announcements and shit at the strip club? Hell no. Nah. For real? Yeah, I did. That's why I say, man, I, I don't even post no more. I don't get paid for it. Instagram and kind of drown drown me out. Like I did, you know, do the promotion. That's the only thing I post about promotion. I'm trying to get back better though. 
I'm about to watch. start promoting OnlyFans page. I, I help yeah. you. They got money. Yeah, yeah. And they, they can pay. They what you need your, they, that's they a good idea, though. You need, need your OnlyFans for both. promoted. Real yeah. talk. I ain't promoting You'll be perfect to promote OnlyFans page. I did, bro. I did be. I nigga, that strip club really shit, nigga. I told you, do a split when you get down there, old bitch ass nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga, we back on that motherfucker. Man, I'm like, man, this nigga, dog, that shit is, is brilliant, man. It's right. you and a nigga named Pop Vasquez, man. Oh, yeah, Pop, my nigga. Pop, fuck with y'all. Yeah, y'all two niggas, my fuck. favorite niggas on the internet, dog. And it's a, a, a Dominican motherfucker named uh, Mr. Nua. The, I can't remember his name. I don't want to say his name wrong, but he got the skit that he did where he discovered the car on Columbus Day. You ain't never seen that I shit. Seen the nigga, the police cop, he was like, man, you, this dude's in my car. He was like, no, I discovered it. He said, no, I discovered this car. I come out, it was he, I discovered it. He was like, you can't discover a car. He was like, what's the day? He said, it's Columbus Day. He said, well, what he do? He said, he discovered America. Well, it was already somebody there when he discovered it. So how come I can't discover the car? It's my car now. I have to go. I got to do man, that shit. But as far as the internet, a lot of motherfuckers just be doing shit just to do it, but right. you can tell that what you do, and like you pop niggas like that, is actual thought put into oh, it, yeah. it's comedy, man. But the I transition, but the transition, like to go, the the internet, to go from the internet, to go from the internet, to go on stage, like how did that feel? Like what that transition was like? You see what I'm saying? Cause you had to do it for yourself. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, shit, it was, a nigga had to learn quick with you, you know, shit. Cause I was really capping when you were like, hey, but you got the time up? Like, yeah, I got my time up. Yeah. Yeah, like, shit, I'm like, man, look, I got about two minutes and a half. Right. But shit, just watching you and just, you know, watching everybody else, that really just, it, it was a learn. Like, I, I'm glad I got the time to learn, you know what I'm saying, to understand what was going on before I started doing stand up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I sit and watch niggas all day. I go to everybody who come in Atlanta, I go to the club and check them out. You know, it's a learning thing. Like, I love to learn and watch the different styles of comedy, period. You know what I'm saying? I'm watching niggas on Instagram constantly mm-hmm. just to make sure. That I'm I'm that original, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to be like you, but I'm 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 learning from you. I ain't really got time, man. Let me go ahead and be clear, man. Check this out. If you looking for a good place, man, that have fresh food, deliver on time, and give back to the community, nigga, Hello Fresh <laughs> offers so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe route, including low low calorie, vegetarian, and family friendly recipes every week. You know, because I got a second baby, you dig? So I got to have somebody who going to bring the food fresh. I'm talking about on time, and it's already prepped up. So when I cut it out and put it on the stove, my, my, I mean, it take me about 15 minutes. Hey, man, anybody out there like saving money, you like discounts? Well, guess what? You can save up to 28% by using HelloFresh versus your grocery store shopping trip. HelloFresh offers fresh high quality ingredients every week for a super flavorful experience. So what I'm trying to tell you is, make sure you go to hellofresh.com slash 85south80, and you know what? I told you to get back. On your first meal at hellofresh.com, you know what we gonna do? We gonna take off $80. Yes, sir. So make sure you go to hellofresh.com slash 85south80, get that discount don't worry about it don't trip because HelloFresh be cutting out all the stressful meals planning and grocery store trips so you can enjoy cooking and get to the dinner all right so go on and get your cook on make sure you go to hellofresh.com slash 85 south 80 to get 80 dollars off your first your first meal and guess what include it your free shipping oh no we oh we gonna make sure it's free Oh, yeah, we're going to make sure it's free, but you know what? Restrictions apply. So make sure you go to HelloFresh.com and figure it out. But I don't want to be shit like you, you feel yeah, what I'm saying? that's important to be like you, as long as you can still see it from a professional Facts. standpoint and still well, see, be that nigga here was, that nigga here, but like, I think we did, like, nigga, not even too many regular shows till we did that, that spot in Boston. And I walk on stage, it's like a bunch of fucking people. I'm like, hell nah, this is crazy. You want me to tell a joke, right? How y'all doing? They're like, yeah, we all right. I'm like, shit, how y'all doing? I, 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 <laughs> I was lost in the South, nigga. I'm like, really nigga, doing, I'm, nigga. I'm hoping this nigga come out on stage and save my ass. But, you yeah. know, I held my own and shit. And then really after that show, that's what really just piped me up. Because Black Run and Leonard was on the show, too. And them niggas was extravagant, bro, like flawless. Yeah. Like, I feel like I touched a couple of people, but... Niggas was standing up when they got off stage, and I was like, oh, never again. 
And they yeah. gonna stand up for me too. They got me fucked up. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. So, going and that's and much, and then a lot of niggas that hate when they see that. Niggas hate. Like niggas, this is a hating ass game. Oh yeah, I already know. But like, see, I, 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 I ain't the type to be hanging boy. around that little. It, it, it's a it's a thing that with comedy, man. If you ever paid attention with a lot of stand-up comedians in Atlanta, for real, it's like little fraternities. Everybody broken up in the little. It, you might not see it, but it's there. Like right. you know what I'm saying? They'll gang up and be like, "Yeah, that nigga Carlos ain't do that good on Thursday." And hey, Carlos, bye bye. And I be sitting there watching these nigga like, "Boy, you just got down." Like, yeah, that's what I be peeping all that they shit. They used so to that say that shit all the time. It don't matter. Yeah, I don't be when in the I nigga was hosting face. all the rooms and shit. Nigga beg you all night, bro. When I'm going, oh, up, yeah. when I'm going up, when I'm going up, there's a lot of ball up. sacking going then on. Then it's like, nigga, you just showed up. You ain't, you ain't did nothing. You just showed up and said you wanted to go up. You go up then. Nigga go up and bomb. Guess why he bomb? Cause, Cause, Cause I ain't want to put him up. Right. Cause I ain't introduce him right. Cause I ain't say this. You're like, nigga, you just suck. Right. <laughs> well, he's in that, box. He's in that suck then, box. And then if I say that, they be like, oh, that nigga be hating me. Yeah, that nigga lame nigga, for suck That's why that, well. You ain't got that shit. You, you know, suck air well. You know why I be suck, bro. When I'm I, around you. And then when I was like, then they be like, man, nigga, Carlo mean, man, nigga, hate him. Like, no, nigga, you just suck. And I feel like you you wasting my time. You right. wasting these people's time. Because if I'm the host, right, and then you go up and suck. You got to go work hard. I got to go. Pr- Cause now I look like I'm lying. You heard I my just feeling one time. You funny. Right. You heard hey, my man, feeling. Hey man, this nigga hilarious, man. I, you heard my feeling one time. I know. You know, I remember when we did Ratchet People Meet and they had me do that black fire shit. I was telling you, I was like, bro, that shit is not fun. I do not want to do that shit. Right. They're like, man, go ahead, man, do the shit. I was like, fuck it. Carlo was hosting. Nigga, I got off stage. That nigga was like, y'all better clap. I'm going to bring that nigga back up. Y'all was like, uh, oh, God damn. <laughs> 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 don't never be shit. <laughs> Nigga, look, my people was outside. Like, what you want to do? You want to ride? Like, no, man, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Y'all niggas, man, this nigga, fucking I, the DC line, bro. Hey, bro, hey, this nigga, all right, nigga, chill. Y'all both tripping. Oh, like, you know, you know, get it, Gil. That's, you know, get it, Gil. Saying, that's why that, oh. it's bad. The comedy shit, I, I done learned, I done been lucky to, we done been lucky, Fly, especially to avoid a lot of the shit, the stories that this nigga tell. But, like, when I went to L.A., and did comedy in LA, now, not the first couple of times, but after we had made a name for ourselves, right. nigga, I go to the, 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 what's the room upstairs? The, the um, belly room. The belly room, mm-hmm. nigga, it's full of niggas. Now, I don't know none of these motherfuckers personally, but right. the, nobody said nothing to me. Nobody said hello, none of that shit. And I ain't looking for no friends, so I ain't right. give a fuck. So I see uh, LeVar wa- Walker in there. So I chop it up with him, and then Ryan Davis came, and then I go on stage and Nigga went crazy. As soon as I got off stage, everybody, Chico, man, I fuck with you, bro. Chico, I'm like, well, why the fuck you ain't oh, saying yeah, that when I first walked in? Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Because they, they, they wanted to see. They, right. They but that's game, sucker game. shit to me, my but nigga. See, I stayed out the way because, first of all, I jumped. I came from the street and started getting straight into the company, and I had to learn the industry fast. Like, all right, you got to learn the, the exits and the codes. You know what I'm saying? It's etiquette with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, even though you're street, nigga, you can't. You can't treat it like the streets. Right. You got to control it like you know that you use the street structure to yeah. navigate the bullshit. Right. Because it's an industry. Ain't oh nothing my. street about oh it. Ain't my. nothing street ain't about it. Ain't nothing street about it. it. Ain't nothing. And once I Not realize, once I realize some of them people, like how you said, it's a little groups and shit. I tell that nigga all the time, hey man, when I was going through them coming clubs and I'm still going in the workout room. I know exactly what's going on, but I walk right past this shit. Like, you got I'm the going luxury, straight in. You got the luxury to be able to do that. And come right back off. I'm like, man, I ain't trying to, ain't no comedy clip. Nigga, we ain't no comedy gang. Every time I see y'all, what's up, my laughing buddy? Like, nah, nigga, I ain't your motherfucking partner, nigga. For to come up here and no work on my shit. About you and I'm going to go on yeah, we, we, I'm, that, that shit don't bother me. Like, I'm I'll be getting that off stage, shit. nigga, be talking about See, that's what you, I'm saying. I did come through that shit. I be like, Nigga, what the fuck? I'm like, there's a million niggas do still comparing me to my partner. Really funnier than you while you bullshit. Like, Talk your shit, gang. Like, on, but that's like what that niggas gonna do that. They do that to us all the like, time. That's the shit he was talking about. Motherfucker come up talking crazy because that's the thing for unfortunately for niggas, we love to pit each other against it's each other because yeah. most niggas ain't never been able to do nothing with their partners that work. Right, right. But see, you know that's the saying? thing. This is a whole mind frame. It's like in the black community, we don't like some shit unless we got some shit to compare it to. Right. Right. Like, you know, motherfuckers all day, you could just look at the chicken sandwich shit. Right. Nigga, hey, Popeyes didn't invent the chicken sandwich, but as soon as they came out with one, niggas like, oh, it ain't better than such and such, or any new song come out, new rapper. Right. If you don't have shit to compare it to, then they they, ain't, they don't, they can't accept it. Right. So that's why when it comes to comedians, they always gotta say, hey man, you could be the next 
nigga I think funny. You you funnier than this nigga who I thought was funny before I knew you was funny. So you can't never take that shit. <laughs> right. Exactly. And when you saying like the comedian shit, they don't want to fuck with you until they know you funny. That's just like in on in our lane and industry of shit. That's just like your calling card. You gotta think before social media. Right. Niggas show up at the comedy club and be like, "Hey, this is my partner from wherever the fuck. He funny." Okay. We can't give him the same respect that we give you because we seen you work and be funny and work on the joke. Do we just supposed to show him love because you said it? Right. Let us see. Oh, he's one of us. It's like the X-Men. It's like, nigga, you ain't an X-Man. Like, what you do? I don't do shit. Just leave me alone. <laughs> this bitch ass nigga ain't no X-Man. Stop fucking saying that. Then the nigga blow up and be like, oh, you are one of right. them. I ain't know that was your power though. Right. My bad, bro. Well, I thank you for it's that. Just, and that's why it's, it sucks so bad when comedians steal jokes. Cause now you know, it's like a nigga using your ID to get in the club, and then you try to come. You're like, I done seen him before. Man, right. I know. Man, that nigga already in here. Who I don't the fuck know how is you? I act if I hey man, that that's shit. why I thank you. I thank you, man. <laughs> I tell you this, Los. I thank you, nigga, cause a lot of the shit and the game that you gave me helped me avoid a lot of the shit, cause I saw it coming. I was able to see yeah. it coming before. It I ain't even work it. with it. It you ain't even worth it. If you see a nigga doing your shit, just go get some new shit. He yeah. need it worse than you do. Right. Right. You know what no, never go that's back. How you, that's how you want to do it. At this point of the game, that's the only thing you can do. Because a nigga do, it don't matter what you do. do it. The rule joke. used to be, and this is so fucked up, it's like if you have some shit and that's your patent shit, as long as everybody, that could be your shit, you know around the country as the nigga who do the scarecrow joke. That's your shit. Ain't nobody in the game got a scarecrow joke. You know for a fact, because you done worked from LA to New York and hit all the clubs, all the underground spots. You know all the niggas. These your friends. You'll never think a nigga do you like that. But here, he get the call to go do season one or whatever the fuck hot for black comedians right now. Right. That nigga close on your scarecrow joke. Now everybody in the world think it's his because it made it to TV first. Because he did it on TV first. Now you just a nigga going around the country telling everybody this nigga did Joe Scarecrow joke. Right. 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 What the fuck you gonna do about it? You ain't right. got another one? You don't wanna make sure that nigga don't steal another joke? We didn't come here to we hear you. We can't do that. We like, can't be just, mad. We're gonna hear you be mad at that. a nigga for an hour because he stole your joke. Okay, you can do, do this. You said, hey, you was mad last time you came, bro. Come on now. Right. You ain't got another scarecrow joke right. on deck yet? You can't right. do that because my, my natural reaction to nigga, something, nigga, steal something from me, and I'm going to do something to you, nigga. Right. Make sure you don't know. But think about how petty nobody it else. is. But I learned, I learned, yeah, I learned, yeah, I learned, yeah, I learned, I learned something from this nigga. Food out of nigga I learned yeah. something from this nigga, but it, uh, when I, I, I used to tell y'all, nigga, I say, man, Lowe told me, he say, I don't trip by the nigga stealing. This was before you got on that level. Right. I don't only trip by the nigga stealing my joke. He can't say it how I see it. He can't. And that's the whole point. I was like, damn. You right. He like, nigga go up there and say that be word for word. I'm going back up there. I said, you gonna say word for word? word he said, word. I'm gonna say it because it's me. Right. The people gonna the people gonna rap. And I watched this nigga go say the same joke and he look at me like, told you. It's told different. You. It's I'm different. like, damn. And then you can hear people say, the other comedian tried to say that. Mm -hmm. It's different. You, it's a whole, that's why you can watch a motherfucker set and you can just sit, if you can, just like when you listen to a rap song, you can tell if a motherfucker doing comedy or memorizing shit. Right. Mm -hmm. You can see when the shit go wrong for a comedian. They come up there, their spirits and shit be high, and then they do that one goddamn joke. And then the whole room just be like, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and it ain't even like the crowd ain't fucking with them no more. They just waiting on that scarecrow. They want another one just like that scarecrow joke. And then they be like, <laughs> soon as a nigga do that, you can see when they're going down here. Because the next shit they say going to be some goofy ass question. That's why it'd be hard for me to watch white comedians. Because they tell you the punchline before they do the joke. Right. <laughs> helicopters are crazy, right? <laughs> you guys ever been to <laughs> helicopters? <laughs> 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 it's a rap. And I watch so much comedy, I can't even watch some comedy. Cause if I hear certain words, I just know where the fuck like like white comedians and comedians who be around white comedians, they always say this shit. Like when they try to do like a segue, they always say, I uh that is the worst shit in comedy to oh, me. Yeah. That I uh shit. I uh <laughs> yeah, it's uh <laughs> Ah, uh, crazy that you brought this up. Nobody brought up shit. Right. <laughs> I just hate that that word in them shit. Cause you know, it's like you got some motherfuckers who say some shit so slick. It's just like they don't even have to be telling jokes. Like niggas, like 
downtown Tony Brown, one of the OG niggas in comedy. This nigga, he, the way he say shit just be so different. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's what it's, I mean, like, that's the, the, the originality that's missing in comedy. It's too safe because people just watch what other motherfuckers do and be like, well, he got this far. I'm just going to do this. Right. He said, puss, I'm going to say vagina. It's like, why are you, why are you so scared to be creative if that's what the fuck you are? Right, and right. that's why you, I don't like when motherfuckers be like, I'm gonna do some shit like that. No, nigga, do your own shit. Right, right. Right. And you know a nigga shit. I don't, I don't need you to. Your shit that, come right. on, man. And oh, that's yeah, why. I seen, I can, now, that shit like that, I don't be mad about. And then I know, real? like, but see, you oh, have some true. shit that's so different. It's like, if a nigga even did it again, you'd be like, man, I know exactly where you got that shit from. Because you all, you'll have that shit, and then it's like, you'll do some crazy ass shit. I'm like, what the fuck this nigga on? Like, when you did this shit about how niggas in Atlanta say some gay ass shit after you say some gangster shit, yeah. I was like, this nigga crazy. Cause I am like, DC, what the fuck money bag on? He like, that nigga that just crazy, crazy like that. Crazy, you did that shit when you was mad, when your dick was talking shit to you and busting your face yeah. to make you nigga. I was like, this is the craziest Yeah, see, nigga. Instagram, I can't, I could, a lot of niggas be stealing my shit on there, but you know, I don't, I don't hit them up like, you know, it don't, they be lame, but don't. I don't be, I don't be hitting nah, them niggas. Nah, cause they stuck with that, that nigga, you can do that. You gotta stay Nigga, it's nothing. The nigga you know creative I mean? capability is like, like he said, he just go into movie mode everywhere he go, bro. Yeah, you that's part like, of the game, Life bro. Life of the party, everywhere we at, bro. Like, I don't want to be the funniest nigga. I be sitting right here like, hey, man, get what I, look, I don't know what was wrong with this nigga, bro. I don't know what happened, but the nigga face was like going in. Like a fish? Mm-hmm. The nigga looked at me and was like, Gigi. <laughs> Nigga just smoked this cheek bowl out. <laughs> Listen, bro. <laughs> I was in that bed. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Hey. So for somebody that I can have around, bro, and I'm talking about on the same level, and I'm just like, what he do, bro? Right. But he smoked the goddamn cheek bowl. Right. <laughs> hey, but you know what that, that shit told me, though? After, bro. The lesson in all that shit is seeing people, like, steal your shit. It's like, believe in every piece of content that you put out. Right. Just like you know that bitch you hit already. Yeah. And you just got to ride that way. Like your new shit, you got to ride your new shit just like the most successful shit you got. And that's the lesson that you that you learn that come with that shit. When somebody can watch your set and steal the joke that you just like, this just, I don't give a fuck, yeah, this is just some shit. shit right. But if it's like, if that motherfucker can steal that shit and build a whole career around it, it's like, nigga, you got you to gotta look at your shit the same way. Right. So when you are sitting in your lab and you creating and you writing, you got to look at it from that point of view. I've been telling this nigga that all the time. Yeah, but what's the opposite of that? Or what's the, what would you be thinking if a, if a nigga wanted to steal this bitch? What would he flip it? You know what I mean? How would he flip it to make right. it? So you that's, that's that way time, you, man. That yeah, I, I couldn't could, could be backstage and watch that and let you walk right past me without saying anything. Oh no, you can say Yeah, you so. can, cause you, you, gotta, gotta, you gotta keep in hey, mind. Let me, uh, the only time about. you gonna see this nigga is when you about to go on. You ain't even got time to front this nigga. Soon as he come off his nigga, cause the nigga, he done went over his time cause he doing your shit. Mm-hmm. And then the host say, I'm gonna bring you right up. So this nigga coming off, so this nigga already back on stage about to bring you up. You gonna punch this nigga in the mouth and oh, fuck up this Oh yeah, what you tell the host? Do five minutes. Five minutes, two minutes. Okay. The show, you got to be at the venue <laughs> at 11 o'clock. Right. Man, you got to, and you got, they already done cut your time down. The, you the headliner. These are your fans. All the bitch sold out. The show, the fuck the show. So you sold you all the tickets. Stage, you like, look, hey, you go y'all crazy. enjoy that. Yo, I'm going to beat that nigga ass when I get up off this stage. I mean, that you don't need fuck, you don't fuck the vibe. It's just those things keep that, going. that I just say, I, I wouldn't just, I just, I just couldn't see nobody do my, I've been, Saying that shit to myself for the long, like, what if somebody did my shit on stage and I Man, this man, this coming. nigga sitting in the it's green coming. room one night. God. He'll tell you, the owner of the club came in the green room and said, man, do you know this nigga on stage doing all your shit? Ask him. Yeah. The nigga that booked all of us. That's why we was in there. Bruh, the security then came and got me. Hey, man. Hey, man. Bruh, just did your shit. Don't do that one, low. No. No, nah, I'm finna go do it. I'm gonna show you how that <laughs> bitch go. You gonna do it. This nigga say he gonna do it in. Yeah. <laughs> no, look, we got some new merch in. Man, come on, man. That nigga me a big ass jacket, man. That jacket oh, way too big. Bigger than a. You know, we got all sides. Come on, but these are the ones I ordered, though. This is my oh, size. Oh, yeah. those are the perfect size, man. Where, where they can find them at? 85prail.com. Mmm. <laughs> know what time it is? Get your, get your shit right now. <laughs> People been asking about these jerseys. The jerseys have been restocked. Uh-oh. Make sure you hit the website 
at 85apparel.com. Man, we're giving you $25 off every order of $100 or more. And if you're looking for the sweaters, the sweaters are still up. Yep, custom fit, huh? We got them in all sizes, small, medium, large, extra large, bigger than them. Come on. You know it. That time when you, when you, <laughs> sold, when you sold them the crack, and he smacked the shit out of oh, yeah. his head. <laughs> We used to goddamn put dope in, in the J hand and one of my other partners would slap it out of his hand in the middle of the street. That's disrespectful. <laughs> nigga, you know the asshole got like little white and specks on and shit. Nigga be out there, no, nobody move! Nobody motherfucker move! We get to moving around and shit. Oh, hey, hey, wait, don't move! Hey, shit, hey, don't! This nigga find some white bitch. Nigga point, you know the asphalt got a little white spot yeah. there. There it is right there. Nigga get down trying to get there. That ain't it, that ain't it. <laughs> Well, we tripping out there. We used to be doing a lot of dumb ass shit, though, man. For no reason. Nah, no man, reason. Y'all Never, rap, man. We gonna wrap it up. You ever been bucked on by a J and been I'm, scared, though? I'm gonna like, ask you, nigga. Huh? You ever been bucked on oh, by a J? Oh, we got some strong dope fans where I come from, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I ain't never been bucked on, but gangster. I ain't seen it before, though. Like, nigga, one of them J was like, I ain't, nigga, I ain't one of these regular crackheads. Yeah, nigga, you know, dope fans. A lot of the dope fans <laughs> be gangsters, nigga. <laughs> You know what I mean, nigga? Where I come from, nigga, dope. The niggas that start smoking that oh, shit used to be, DC, nigga, niggas used to be there. motherfucking real live. You ain't got the, you ain't got the authority to talk to Slim like that. Yeah, fast. Cause you was a bitch ass yeah, nigga, and that nigga dope. knocked your motherfucking he nose smoke clean crack. off he your face. He finna get his script. And still hit the motherfucking rock right over your sleep body, nigga. Right. <laughs> Damn, man, I still ain't wake him up, goddamn. You sleep for real. <laughs> I seen a crackhead get knocked the fuck out. Nigga laid out by the hour. I ain't never seen no crackhead nigga get knocked out. Man, mm-hmm. motherfucker got knocked the fuck out. I'm telling you, as soon as a nigga hit him, he was on the ground. <laughs> nigga laid down by the hour, man. Motherfucker woke up like, man, you let that nigga knock you out. Fuck him, I was tired anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker is different, man. I seen two brothers, they were crackheads. They get the fight because one stole money from their mama first. Damn. I saw it. Well, and you go, the you gonna go in there and you gonna go in there and take it, nigga. Uh, I was like, he nigga out here crazy. Crazy, crazy shit I ever seen. Two crackheads fighting at the comedy club parking lot. Motherfucker had that long ass pole that connected uh, the power to the building. No. You know, it'd be the box. Then had a long ass pole. The motherfucker go up to the, uh, to the tele, to the you know the, the connect to the big ass street pole. Mm-hmm. This motherfucker had one trying to hit that motherfucker with, but the bit was so long he couldn't swing it fast enough. Every time he picked that bitch up, it like on the video game. Cry. <laughs> 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 Think <laughs> <laughs> about from here to where they got them chair trying to swing Number that line. long ass got them pole. He had to pick that bitch up like this. Oh, these Motherfucker just standing back there doing this shit. These these a lot of crackheads. Oh, well, you got this because I'm here. They always be like. You look for me. I'm like, shit, nigga. You do too. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know you. I know you, but I ain't gonna tell you what I used oh, to do. I, I was about to say, like, I, nigga, I, know, I know they know you, because all them motherfuckers know me. I seen the crackhead, didn't even know he, I used to say, him crack. he like, man, you know, give him a little, can I get a dollar? I said, nigga, I used to give you what you, you know what? You must be getting it from somebody new. It's okay. There you go. Go on, right. get that dollar, motherfuckers. I was about to say, ain't no way the motherfuckers don't know you, cuz. This ain't like every homeless motherfucker. Oh, they I don't know, know us, where they bro. see me. Yeah, that nigga, they be watching that nigga when Wild and Out was coming on, nigga. Nigga come up to you and say the wrong nigga shit. Oh, boy, I love you, nigga. Hey, cut the beat. I'm like, nigga, that ain't even my <laughs> shit. The fuck is you watching this shit at, nigga? Ow. Nigga, was the homeless? La- is cable free in Atlanta? Like, how are you seeing this shit, dog? You somebody Did wonder? You get in the stove? <laughs> no, no fucking homeless nigga gonna look back at me and just go, I know that ain't Carlos in this motherfucker. <laughs> we got a celebrity in the building, y'all. You <laughs> ain't gonna platinum in this motherfucker. What do you say? We got a celebrity in the building. <laughs> we ain't gonna go platinum. <laughs> Tell Nick Cannon come through this motherfucker, man. <laughs> <laughs> he can fuck with the hood. It's all good in the hood, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I know they know you. Man. I hate them. They just don't stick their arm around me. I be like, nigga, you stink. They at least offer a service, though. Hey, man, you want me to pump that gas for you? Yeah, I had to just mm. wash my car and do it like my rims and shit on uh, Universal. I gave the nigga the money. The nigga went in the store, came back out. I'm like, nephew, who bought that cup? That car dirty, man. I said, nigga, you just wash this car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wash it again. I, I do way better job than that. I'm like, bro, you just wash my car. So you another nigga? Huh? Just so he was another I nigga? Another, I probably just took it. It was the same nigga. 
the, the nigga that just washed my car came back. Went in the stove by ten minutes, came back out. I'm like that motherfucker dirty, nephew. Hey man, oh, nigga, dude, why did I seen the J, I seen the Jay Custer laid out. She had gave him about three dollars, and he went over. You know how they be hustling. He went over there and asked. As somebody else, she was like, "Don't give him no money. I just gave him some." He like, "Bitch, what you leave? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, it ain't got nothing to do with nothing." <laughs> he thought, "Would you leave?" <laughs> that motherfucker, that motherfucker's different down here. I don't know, man. I, it's a different breed. It's a different man. breed in Atlanta, dog. <laughs> and then where I live at in North Carolina, it ain't even the crackheads. It's the white people. The white, the white dope fiends. They the ones that run it. In nigga, I white lady. I'm at the Sheets gas station, nigga. Lady they got out, the good ass like, sound. She was like, nigga, she was like, hey, excuse me. I don't mean to bother you. I'm not a big, I'm not homeless or anything. You can see I got my medicine thing in my hospital. I just got the hospital. If you could just give me anything, and I give her $5, I'm like, here you go, ma'am. God bless you. I go and get my food. You know what I mean? I'm hungry, so I'm sitting in the car eating my food at the gas station. This bitch come back up to my window. Hey, man, I'm still a little bit short on that medicine. You think you got anything else you can give me? I'm like, bitch, did you just ask me for money twice? She's like, <laughs> That was wrong, wasn't it? I'ma leave you alone. I'm like, man, I this shit. shit. A regular conversation, then it turn, like nigga catch you out of nowhere. That shit turn into big. Come on, alligator shirt. I'm telling you. Babe, well, you look like a baby shark. That nigga, that nigga look like, you dude. know who he look like, though? That shirt look like one of them niggas that was working with uh, my man Joe Exotic, nigga. One of them. Ah, <laughs> one of them Tiger King employees, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Yo, you know what I'm talking about when that shit just some kind of way just turned into big, like you ain't even expecting, like nigga, like man, I had them same J back in the day, man. I swear I was in the army, came back home, man. I, you know, I got shot two, three times, man. It's crazy, man. Me and my wife, we just stopped up the street. That's my car right there. <laughs> Listen, you ain't got five dollars. You like, nigga, what the fuck? That's a long ass story. <laughs> Hell yeah, that nigga be into it too. They just start out of nowhere, but those. Hey, I love man. them stories though. Yo, yeah, it'd be a long, it'd be, be a I mean, long be ass like, story. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Man, come on, man. Look, man. fuck with me. Them I don't usually do this. Them young niggas down there done jumped on me. <laughs> 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 and took my keys and got my car and shit down there. My pistol on the seat. Uh-huh. Them young boy got my car, man. I just, just give me some. I'm trying to make a phone call. Um, what, who you trying to call? I'm trying to call my other wife. Where are you trying to go? Well, hold on, time, time OG was your first wife in the car? No, because that got my, that my wife car. I'm trying to call her to come pick me up. You feel me? So, you I should not pick you up without a car. Listen, man, them young boys jumped on me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what about the people that had their family with them, though? The, they had a baby out there, the mama, the... Oh, two, nigga. I'd be like, oh, my I just had to give him some money. I'd be, I'd be like, man, I don't know if they told him to yeah. look sad or what. Them and the motherfuckers that got the dog with them. they like, man, that dog ain't doing nothing to deserve that, I hate homeless people bro. with dogs, bro. Like, bro, what the dog do? That is the weakest shit in the... I hate that, bro. But what if they... They, 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 they know the dog was homeless, Listen, then you, you be trying That's to... He be, like, he be like, don't feed him that. Don't feed him that. Man, you don't feed them. That's what I, I think. Eat anything. I what think you when you die, you a fuck nigga. You that. come back as a homeless man's dog. Nigga. <laughs> don't feed my <laughs> You come you back to life as a homeless man's <laughs> dog. Look, they done trained y'all to think of it that way. You don't know what the fuck that dog did to be homeless. You know them people did something to be homeless. What if that dog came from a good ass family and just got, got, the, got it running with the wrong dog? <laughs> <laughs> they got lost. Yeah. Hey, yo, what? Just then got in the street. This is a fucking poodle. He running with Rottweiler, hey, hey, pit bulls hey, and hey, shit. Hey, he done ran like all the way from Alpharetta. Up. He down here in Camelton Road and shit. Hey, he dog. can't, they'll never make it back. He'll never make it back to Alpharetta. <laughs> the story's a homeless dog nigga making a cartoon and just Well, you ain't never seen no happy homeless dog, dog though. Dog. Nigga! That dog that fucked up, man. Happy homeless dog. Oh, man, them them niggas me. always just sat here like, man, we just out here, man. You always <laughs> see them. You always see them stories pop up, man. White you dog found me. in fucking Texas that was lost in Michigan four months ago. Like, nigga, that dog ran man. away, man. And let you know, twenty twenty different, nigga. Hey, you seen that what video with that white woman when she threw she that dog? dog. He man, he she did. threw that he dog. Did, dog twenty twenty is <laughs> white people throwing Bro. dogs at niggas. <laughs> She oh, threw the dog right. at the I, nigga, man. I, I had to be cool in the caption because you know folk be, boy, that shit was hilarious, boy. She I'm threw sorry. that nigga dog on Man, the dog was like, ah, ah, ah. ah. You know the dog was <laughs> fucked up. It ran to the black man. It was like, bro, please, bro. It got to be better over here. Hey, hey, it got to be better. 
You ain't seen that shit low? Yes. Oh, man. I'm, he, that, uh, and you know how the fucking dogs, forgiving bro. niggas are? He took that nigga. The nigga kept the dog. He kept the dog. The nigga kept the dog. But I thought it was his dog. No, it wasn't no, his no, dog. No. We don't know who Oh, dog so was. it was just her dog. She, <laughs> hey, wait, is that your dog? She was She's like, like no. fuck you. I think it's your dog. <laughs> <laughs> that, motherfucker, that motherfucker hit the ground. <laughs> That's what we're going, ar, 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 He didn't even try to catch the dog. Uh-uh. Nah. You don't know that dog got rabies or anything. I would have been like, hold up, bitch, what the fuck? Man. Bitch, that threw a whole dog at your ass. You know what the fuck kind of dog that was? That man. was a little funny, too. Like, hey, man, yeah. that just goes to show. It's some strange motherfuckers it's out here, man. some strange motherfuckers out here. Some strange motherfuckers. That got dogs like, and throwing them on people. Something going on in the, in the atmosphere of the world, of the universe, that's just got it's strange all, ass, man. crazy ass white people just popping up. Popping out, bro. Bro, I never thought I would see the day that a white woman would throw a fucking puppy at a nigga. You know how much you got to hate niggas. To throw a pup. You know how much they love dogs, they first right. of all? That's what I'm saying, 2020. You know how much oh. hate was in her heart she to throw a dog that she loved at a she nigga? She stole yeah. a dog out of love. It was a crime of passion. Mm -hmm. But when she threw it at that nigga, that was hate. That was pure mm -hmm. hate. How you gonna go to court and you done threw a, a white woman and threw a dog at a nigga and that's not charged as a hate crime? Mm -hmm. Listen, Because right. she thought the dog was gonna bite me. Nigga, the dog, but the crazy part is now the dog got an Instagram page. I said he done came no, up. What? Nigga, the dog got an Instagram page. See, now, you asked earlier, this is exactly how dogs become homeless. He ran, he was too, he went to fame too fast. It's a wrap. It's too much pressure. He's it's just a, a puppy. He, he, now he's been shot into stardom. Right. <laughs> And that's too much for a dog right. that just got through on, the, on nigga. the ground. Right, right yeah. He got all these followers. Didn't he say a before? Not even house trained yet. He took a picture of the dog while he was asleep. Right. And then took the after picture like he was, I'm like, nigga, the dog. The what? more important question is, who does this dog originally belong to? Who knows? There's an owner somewhere that that's watching be. all of this happen that can't get in touch with these people. That, that has white, that puppy. I think it was the white lady dog. It had too. To be. I, I know for a fact I that she puppy, stole the dog. That dog the was stolen from a black person. The dog has raised over five thousand dollars on GoFundMe. Oh, nigga, your it's pants don't reach your ankles. <clears throat> it's time to go, nigga. Dog. No, I'm telling you, that dog. I can look at that dog and tell it was stolen from a black person because the nails weren't clipped, the hair wasn't cut. You right. could tell it had been eating uh, it had a food flea that call, wasn't. You know, it was, was eating up. dog food, but not puppy food. And it ran mm -hmm. to the nigga when she threw it. Like when the last time you seen a dog, dog run to it? a nigga out there, but right. So yeah, nigga. Like Charles Ramsey say, dead giveaway. Dead, dead giveaway. Excuse them, Wasi. Yep, that's it right there, nigga. That's what we gonna end it at. White lady throwing a dog at a nigga. Just to let you know what we what we out here dealing with. They got a clip right there. Just to let you know, this is the type of evil that is out here. Ouch, you. That bitch crazy. Damn. Damn. Oh. <laughs> oh, I ain't mean to make. It. Cut it off. I'm cutting my shit off. I ain't mean to make a sound effect. That motherfucker said, Uncle. That be crazy, bro. Let these folk before we go, man. Let these folk know where they can catch you at, game box. Man. Damn. God damn. You keep wanting niggas to see. Who done promote you to promo that shirt, nigga? That's what it is. That nigga got on his sleeve. He done took a side deal with the nigga that make that shirt. And he said, no, I can get it on the 85 South Show, man. No problem. <laughs> I can get that shirt on 85 South Show, man. That ain't no problem, bro. I'm Not telling you, bro. I got a good rapport with them folks. Just send me the shirts. Well, wait, I make sure. I uh, know, right? Let's do it. It didn't cut a promo deal, yet. dog. Yeah, we don't, we <laughs> we don't get them straight, bro. It still ain't off the deal. It didn't cut a polo deal on the what? side on us, man. We're going to get him straight, man. But yeah, it's Moneybag Mafia, man. Follow me on Instagram at Moneybag underscore Mafia. I'm here with the funniest niggas on earth, the realest niggas, the coolest niggas. I want to say, Y'all uh, host the Hip Hop World Tour? Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Man, come on, man. Hey, look, so, uh, and I know these niggas personally. Exactly. Money Bad underscore Mafia. Instagram. One of the man. funniest niggas doing it, period, yes, man. Y'all yeah. need a writer. Y'all need anybody that creating content, man. Facts. This is the guy to hit up, man. The nigga is going fucking bananas. And if you don't believe it, just go to where he said, money bag underscore mafia, and you'll get all the proof right, you check, need, yeah, nigga. Check, yeah. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Before we leave, I want to give a special shout out and dedication to Cardi B's nipples. Yes, Lord. What was wrong with him, though? Nothing, nothing. So, no, something wrong with him. What happened, gang? Nothing. Man. She had a little piss. She was laid up. She was like. Titty was out. I, it didn't look like that. It looked like she got. got but look, down. look, this is not what we're going to do. We're not no, going we to titty talk shame. About all this titties shit. is welcome. I'll, we'll I talk about it later. I was trying to figure out what was wrong with it. It needs some spit on it. That's the only thing that was wrong with it. <laughs> hey, man, this 85 South Show, I just bitch! It needs some tea tree oil. <laughs> <laughs> it needs some spit on it.
blue chew that is tea tree oil. <laughs> oh, nigga, you need to put one of these blue chews on that bitch. <laughs> you got raisin bumps on the nipples, nigga. You see the picture though? I ain't see it. That shit look like wildfire. Look, yeah, it didn't look right. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, I ain't see that picture. Oh my god, that motherfucker look like a pain. Hey man, yeah, I done seen them titties before. 